stop this process. See, listen, listen. I'm a, I'm a man of God and I am married. All right? Whatever that happened last night, let it end here. I don't ever want to see you in my life again. Don't come near me. Don't come near my family. Please. Stop. 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 Hey, hey. Stop. Stop. Please. I don't want to. Stop. Stop. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Stop. This is all. Oh. Stop. Stop. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, like I was telling you last week, I shared a scripture with you last week, all right? How many of you can remember? If you can remember, say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. I shared a scripture from Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Listen, see, see what the scripture says. I need you to understand what God has planned for your life. Listen, he says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. He said he shall quicken your mortal bodies. In other words, he shall vitalize. He shall bring life to your mortal bodies. What am I trying to say, brothers and sisters? Listen, is there anything dead about you? God is about to bring life into it. Yes. Ah, that, that you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I need you to scream amen like thunder. I said if anything has been dead in your life, I prophesy. God is bringing life back into that business. Life is coming back into your marriage. Life is coming back into your career. Life is coming back into you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. All you need to do is to believe in him. Believe in him that raised Christ from the dead. Christ was dead three days. God showed up to let you know there's nothing about God that can die. Listen, some of you this week, God is going to bless you with so much money. Listen, anointing without money is annoyance. And without envelope, a child of God cannot develop. Listen, I prophesy to somebody. This week, on many dead favor. This week. This week. Rise out the wax. This week you shall not be weak. What if it is? Yes. So I, I, I was saying if that if that if first that Jesus that raised um Yes. Shout glory. Shout glory. God has plans. Yes, you have we have plans for God. I know you're speaking out. Yes, but you see, God walks in in, in mysterious ways. He, he opens a door ah! that that yes, body. Yeah, baby. Ah, just begin to speak in tongues. Yes. Yes. Ino skataba reka sonde ne do shakika rada abasish ay. You never see anything. You just that. Listen, 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 listen. I need you to understand the plans of God concerning your life. Do not be afraid. For this week, you shall overcome temptation. Amen. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And guess what? After the 40th night, he was tempted. The devil came. He said, he said, jump. He said, jump. What did he do? He was jump. He, he said, jump. What am I saying? And when Jesus jumped, okay, no, he didn't jump, but somehow the devil wanted him to jump. Bring out your offerings. And let's bless the name of the Lord. Uh, please, Pastor Ken, you pray over the offering and you take the closing prayer and the announcements. 
Uh, let's put hands together for Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken, yes. I like how you led in the opening prayer during the service. It was powerful. Oh. Eh? And that scripture you shared, <laughs> uh, John 35 verse 1. Yes. Yes, it was, it was, it's one of my favorite scriptures. Oh, so uh, I liked how you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the service. Yes, Pastor. It was so spiritual, so impactful. Pastor I Ken. felt his spirit. <laughs> we are not going to deny the fact that Daddy was distracted during the service. Yeah, uh, but, well, well I, I felt Hello, it was when the Father. spirit was... Pastor, greetings. Yeah, good afternoon, sister. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, how are you? Um, um, do you mind? I wish to have a discussion with you. I, I, I'm a young lady, you see, in this uh, parish. Uh, pastor, good afternoon, Pastor. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, that, like as, as I was saying, here we have procedures. You have to go to the pastor's office and the secretary will... But the secretary will actually uh, book an appointment with you, then you can see the pastor. Exactly. Uh, yes, and besides, if, I mean, it isn't proper to stop the pastor on the way like this and start asking for attention. It's well, not proper. Young lady, yes, what he said is true. Eh? In case you have anything to say, here we do it this way. You talk to your fellow woman, and the men talk to their fellow men. So please, if you have anything to tell him, you can confide in me, right? Yes, yes, that's yeah? the procedure. Yeah, you that's can come to yes. me. Um, Pastor, I really want to have a private discussion with you. you don't mind, sir. It's urgent. I'm so sorry. I'm uh, sorry, mommy. Um, um, mommy, uh, Pastor Ken. Um, I understand your point, but um, maybe she, she, she has something she doesn't want too many people to hear. Uh, maybe like a secret. I don't understand. Yes, yes. you know, it, it can be like that sometimes. Some people are like that. They just want to confide in the man of God. Yes, sir. Yes, then maybe if, if need be, we can all come back together and pray with her. But this is not how it's Mommy, done. Mommy, I know, Pastor Ken. I'm, so I'm sorry. still talking. Mommy. Uh, Daddy, no. She can talk to me if she has any problem. Right, Pastor okay. Ken? I, I, well, I, 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 I thought that is the procedures. But... Okay, okay, mommy, let's do it this way. I will hear what she has to say, then I will invite you into the matter. Yes, yes, I think it works that way. Yes. So if you don't mind, um, please. Bombastic side eye. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jesus, my brain, my bro. Yeah, Misha. I'm sorry, mommy. Mommy, I'll be back. Um, it's okay. Please hold my Bible for me. Please, I'll be back. I'll be right back, mommy. Okay. Fear women. Uh, uh, mommy, uh, let's uh, let's just go and wait for them in the office. No, God will take control. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, my sister, I'm sorry, please. What was it you wanted to tell me? I, I, you made my wife worried. Worried? Yes. But I didn't do anything. At least not yet. Come on. What is it? Are you shy? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Pastor? I like you. Like, I have this love, this affection for cute guys. Especially the fair ones. You get it? I love your hair. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, 
Do you mind? I would love to have a private discussion with you. Sorry, excuse me. That's my number. Call me and I'll tell you where we would meet 6 p.m. tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Now stop! Why did you let me do this now? What kind of thing is this? So you were practically the one on top of me the whole night. You shouldn't have allowed me now. You shouldn't have let me do this temptation. I'm a pastor and I am married. If you want it, you, 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 you shouldn't have called me. I thought you wanted it. Stop, 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 stop. Jesus! The angel will get behind me. Jesus. Oh, what did be this? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I spoke to Pastor Ken. But uh, I think he's trying to what we need to do is to renovate the children's church. So these children can be more comfortable because some of them, once their parents get into the adult church, they start disturbing. Huh. You know, that place is not conducive enough for them. Maybe Put a new AC or something. So, what's your plan? We'll raise funds. We'll do maybe like donation in the church. Is this Sunday or next? Uh, this coming, we start from this coming Sunday. We'll be for six Sundays. After, by, by the time we're done, by the sixth Sunday, we should have something tangible. Let's, let's do it for those children so they can be comfortable. Okay. Excuse me. No, who is that? Hello? Yes, I'm I'm fine. You abandoned me after the last time. <laughs> I I cannot abandon the kingdom. I'm pregnant. Jesus! Pregnant! I want to see you now. Um Okay, okay. I I I I will I will Yes, yes, uh The Lord will strengthen you. Yes, I will come and pray with you by 4 p.m. Oh. I want to see you now. Uh, oh, 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 you prefer now? I should come to the tabernacle now. You know what? Just meet me at my usual place. Okay. Uh, uh, right away, I will meet you at the tabernacle right now for the prayer. Okay, thank you. Honey. Who is pregnant? Uh, <laughs> it's our church member. Mm -hmm. uh, he said the wife is pregnant and she needs urgent prayer. So it, it's a good thing now. Uh, why did you? Uh, you know, I was excited. Like no, they've, they've not. They've not. She has not been pregnant for twenty years of marriage. Twenty yes. years. Yes. Who is this our member that is pregnant for twenty years? Member. <laughs> I know every member. You know this one has not been. He has not been coming to church since, but we lost contact, so we just reconnected, so they want to visit church. Daddy, what's the name of the person? Mommy, don't worry. Mommy, let me just drop you at home, then rush to the cabana for watching prayer with this people, please. 